What's up, alchemists? Welcome back to Alchemix. That's like alchemy, chemistry, mixology combined. Many people say alchemix, like cum or kind of, but it's just, there's clearly a C, an E, like chemistry. Alchemy, chemistry, mixology combined. As always, I'm Tommy Paul. That's Tommy Alchemy on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And today we are making mead cocktails. Many people say that mead is the world's oldest alcoholic beverage. It's probably not true, but we cover some of those nuances in the Alchemics podcast for this week. There is some examples of uh, mead occurring naturally in some trees because the sun hits the honey perfectly and mixes with water and things like that. But uh, what I always like to say is that whether it is or isn't the oldest or best or most credible, it was all kind of shit back then. So without any further ado, here is seven mead cocktails. Now, some of these are Alchemics originals. Some of them are from books. Some of them uh, are actually local recipes. And I should also mention that we currently sit in uh, Boulder County, Colorado. That's where this studio is. And we have a long history of being like probably the best producer of craft beer. I actually come from a small town that sort of founded the craft beer revolution with, in America at least, with Dale's Pale Ale from a restaurant called Oscar Blues and things like that. Um, so the mead sort of revolution didn't take long to follow. So actually all of our meads are local and quite tasty. If you haven't gotten involved with this beverage yet, I would suggest it. It's quite good. Um, it's very straightforward. Traditional mead is just honey, yeast, and water. And then some of the other stipulations and the legalities allow other herbs and spices and berries and things. So. There's a lot of possibilities and long story long, I hope you enjoy. All right, we're gonna start out with a cocktail called uh, Lady Jane. The reason why it's called a Lady Jane is because Jane Austen was a notorious booze bag, much like myself. It is stirred. So we're gonna start out with a mixing glass. I'm just doing two dashes of orange bitters. This is strong water, uh, mountain bitters. It's local to me. Next up, one ounce of greenhouse gin. This is like this gorgeous botanical, hyper botanical gin really fantastic uh this cocktail is actually invented at a place called honey girl north carolina and we're gonna pour four ounces of nordic mead which is also infused with ginger and hops. So that's it for now. Just wanna ice this up. Some nice big uh, Ice cubes that we cracked from our clear ice earlier. Give it a stir. Now, because I'm stirring with clear ice, I know that this cocktail is not going to over dilute too quickly. So I'm going to set it aside for a second. Grab my chilled 
goblet glass. And this is an obvious take on a Pim's cup, uh, which typically has a huge cluster of different kinds of fruit in it. Long thin slice of cucumber into my goblet glass. Strain out of the cucumber. Toss in a uh, big rock we carved out earlier. And I want some skewered raspberries. We'll just toss in a little straw here. That is a Lady Jane. All right, next up we have a cocktail called Estivo that we can just go ahead and build in a chilled Collins glass. Uh, first up, half ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. This one comes from Kristen Starks. Whoa. I spilled on my shirt. I just got done filming a video for the Alchemics course about mise en place and setup and how this whole thing should work like magic. And I spilt on my shirt. It happens to the best of us, I guess. I guess just don't be surprised if I have this uh, stain on my shirt for the video. Two ounces of our mead. This is uh, from Redstone Meter, local to me in Boulder, Colorado. And 1.5 ounces of the botanist botanical gin. We're going to toss in a long ice cube that we chopped up earlier. We're just going to stir this right into our glass. Nothing better than a long clear ice cube in a chilled glass. And top off with Fever Trees Mediterranean tonic water. Hence the Mediterranean. We'll toss in a straw. Serve this without a garnish. And that is the Estivo. Let's wrap on the Estivo. All right, next up we have a cocktail called the Colorado Sunrise. This is an Alchemics original. I am uh, from Colorado. So we're going to start out with one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Match that with one ounce of slow gin. We're using Plymouth slow gin. That is not exactly gin. <laughs> it's made from a slow berry and sweetened. So sort of in a category of its own. Next up. One ounce of our mead. This mead is actually called Tequila Sunrise. Uh, it's a local meadery from Boulder, Colorado, uh, called Savannah Bee Company. And last up, 
four equal parts, one ounce of partita. La Posada Tequila. Here are some of these gorgeous cubes that we cut from a block of clear ice earlier. Give it a shake. You can tell by the sound that that is perfectly diluted. So we'll fine strain this. to a chilled champagne flute. Garnish this with a skewered raspberry. And that is a Colorado sunrise. All right, next up we have a mead teeny. Obvious twist of a martini with mead. Uh, this has been floating around for a little while, so I'm not sure that there's an actual creator, but uh, I'm gonna put an eyedropper full of grapefruit bitters into a mixing glass. It's from Cocktail Punk. Next up, one ounce. For this, we're gonna crack some traditional mead, which simply means that the only ingredients are honey, water, and yeast. Other types of mead, you can add herbs, botanicals, spices, things like that. This one's from Slay Maker Cellars in Colorado. Local mead. And two ounces of Empress Gin. This is gin distilled with butterfly pea. Flowers, which is what gives it that gorgeous color. And that's it for now. We'll toss in a big rock that we chopped up from our clear ice block earlier, a couple of smaller pieces, and give it a stir. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Let's go ahead and taste this to make sure the dilution is perfect. And it is. Strain this to a chilled Nick and Nora. Garnish with some skewered blackberries. That's some meat teeny. The next cocktail is an Alchemics original called Fisticuffs. It's so a take on a uh, Sazerac. So I'm gonna double spritz 
the rocks glass. We're gonna build and stir it in the rocks glass. First thing you're gonna need is a half ounce of Celtic honey. This is an Irish honey liqueur. And we'll match that with a half ounce of Nordic mead with ginger and hops. And one and a half ounces of Blackbush Irish whiskey. I'm gonna drop in a big rock. Give it a little stir right in the glass. Spritz this with a lemon twist to rim the glass. Tuck our uh, lemon twist down in there and finish it off with one last spritz on the top of absinthe. That is a fisticuffs. Next up, we have an Alchemix original cocktail called Don't Tread On Me. To start drinks, so we'll start out with the tin. And first up, we're gonna need three dashes of Peugeot bitters. 1.5 ounces of traditional mead. This is Sleigh Maker out of Colorado. And match up with 1.5 ounces of James E. Pepper's 1776 bourbon. We'll just ice up our mixing glass with this gorgeous clear ice that we cut earlier. Drain this into an etched, chilled pet. And we're gonna spritz this with a lemon but throw that out and then toss in a couple of blackberries. That is adult tread on me. All right, we're gonna finish off with a cocktail called a Ben Franklin. And this is shaken, so we'll start out with our tin. Start out with a half ounce of honey syrup. This cocktail was invented by Domenico Lombardo, who is the founder of Mint Gastropub in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. One ounce of our traditional meat. 
This is the slave maker of Colorado, my home state. And 1.5 ounces of Woodford Reserve Bourbon. That's it for now. Big clear ice. Big piece, a couple small pieces for the chill and the dilution. strain this into a chilled Spanish gin and tonic glass. Toss in big ice sphere. Spritz this with lemon twist. Toss it in and finish it off. With some juniper berries. This is Ben Franklin.